Well, hello. I know it's been a long time since I've been here. Video in for you guys. And I had my glove on, couldn't turn the camera on. But this hive is doing excellent. This is the original hive, these two. Uh, this super honey super here is full. Or this one here is full. So I've added a second super. Um, they have more room to store honey. My intent is not to take any honey this year, or very little, if any, to uh, try to see how they do over the winter and, of course, get the strongest possible bees. And for some of you, this will be your first time here, new beekeepers, um, smoking is important. If you're going to get into your boxes, you need to smoke. It's as simple as that. When I hear about people getting stung, it's why I didn't smoke or I wasn't wearing my gear. And I let that smoke sit there for a couple minutes. This one doesn't have a honey super. This hive was very weak coming into the spring. Um, so now, I just want to get in here and see if they need a super. So leave it alone for a few minutes after you smoke it. Let that smoke get through there. Hardly saw any hive beetle. I'm using uh, beetle blocker shins. That's what these, their bottom boards that go above your bottom board, their shins. I don't know if you can see those in the frame. So where you see the non-painted part, this is a beetle blocker shin. I can edit one in there. Okay, let's kind of look to see what's going on in here. First thing I do after smoking, I just want to make sure that the queen is not on the top board. And I'll take a quick look. I don't see her. I've had that happen before. You can see they're a little fired up. This is a swift dryer sheet non-scented dry, and that'll catch a hive beetle. There are one, two, three, four, five hive beetles, six, seven, on this, which, you know, I haven't been in this hive in, in, in a couple months, probably. Um, I have learned over time to stay out of my hive. We're about to go or almost into dirt or we're into dirt. The flow is tailoring down and just want to see where we are for uh, going into the fall dirt. You can see they really glued this stuff down. A little more smoke, let them know I'm coming. Let's sit there for a minute. When you go in, don't try to just crack her open and run. Give it time, slow and easy. And just by looking at it, it looks okay. No queen. I always put my stuff right in front of the entrance. I just want to look in here and see how we're looking. How much of this is honey. And it really looks like <laughs> there's a lot. I probably should have put a honey super on this a long time ago. We'll bust it open from the bottom. See how heavy this bad boy is. This hive was very, very weak going into the coming out of winter. And I know it's August and we haven't got a honey super on here, but last time I checked, they really didn't need it.
Not a hive beetle one. Haven't seen one yet. Again, that's those Clark Kaplan beetle blocker shims. This feels pretty heavy. I'm kind of worried here about it being a little too much honey. So we'll definitely put a uh, honey soup around this one. Pretty sure it's ready. Yeah, <laughs> that, my friends, is a lot of honey. That's good though. I don't intend to harvest this year from all my hives. I might take some out of this one if they fill up this, start working on the second one. I'm just separating these, moving around a little bit, see if I can uh, coax this off of there. Nice and easy. Not in a big hurry today. Watch out, girl. Excuse me. Yes, I'm weird. I talk to talk to my bees. I'm gonna go to the middle and pull a frame, see what they look like. Nice and easy. Okay, that's all honey. So we have a need for pulling this off of here and putting a second deep below this. Um, and then I'll put another honey super on top. So, what I'll do is go onto the house, grab another deep, give them some room, and I'll be back. Okay. Holy crap, Ola. This is a cedar hive body. I get the guy from Springfield. I'll put a link into the description. Um, those things are amazing. They're a little testy, I can tell. And I gotta pull this heavy ass deep off of here. This is going to be a beast. And they're not going to be happy. Uh, four hive beetles, dead. I don't see any alive. Well, I can't say enough about Clark if you're watching. Those things rock. Absolutely rock.
couldn't be happier. Here they come. They are pissed now. Just a minute, girls. I'll have you all button right back up. I promise. to say, I'm not going to waste any time, we are not happy, <laughs> that is a beast, I'm here to tell you. Sufficiently torqued off. gonna make it or not and it is not me. We'll be stripping this one down. I don't know what we're gonna find in here. Uh, oh we could have wax moss for all I know. Hornet and a wash. Don't know what's in there. But I can see. Not good. Yep, wax moth. This is what it looks like. For those of you who want to know. So. This is a doomed hive. It was doomed a long time ago. This is neglect. Oh, well, there's some bees in there. Don't know what the hell they're doing. So. There's no queen. You can 
see the damage. This is what it looks like. And I left it like this so that we can show what wax hog, hog moth hive damage looks like. Um, it was doomed. I knew it was doomed. It was a uh, split the spring that didn't go. But you can kind of see there's a wax moth there. There's the larva of a wax moth. Trying to get an idea. So your question is, what am I going to do with this? Well, uh, I could clean it off and start over or burn it, which is, uh, you know, you can do either. If you want to spend the money on uh, burning it, but you can see the path in there. Wax them off. We'll tear up a wooden box. The bees in here are from another hive. Why they're in here, I have no idea. There's no queen. The bees around me are from the other hive that is pissed. No hive beetles, though. Isn't that interesting? Okay, well. We know what we got to do with this one. <sighs> what happens when there isn't a strong hive to protect? What you have? Okay. All right. <sighs> this is a Russian hive, supposedly. All I want to do is check the seed what the honey super looks like. Just let them know I'm here. Ugh. Smoker's getting a little hot. When you have a hot smoker, it's not a good thing. So I won't be hammering the bees with it too at all, really. Just wanting to see what the honey super looks like. And I think this has just the one, yeah. No hive beetles at all. These bees are from that hive over there that we opened up and put the extra honey and deep on there. Honey super and deep. Check for her majesty. Yep. They're corralling a few hive beetles up here. Okay. I didn't have a Swiffer sheet. Hey girl. This uh Pretty good. <sighs> Heavy. Full. I wouldn't say it's 
We're still working on it. This is three deep. I'm twisting it because I can tell when a frame is connected to another frame in the box below it and we'll pick it up. Yeah, it's not full yet. It's pretty darn close though. question is what's this is this all honey or is it uh, let me get a Swiffer sheet while I'm thinking about it as to whether or not there's brood up here in this third deep. my frames, my hive stands, to where they'll hold the frames in between the legs. And as soon as I see brood, it'll stop. And this is all nectar. Okay. would be for them to go into the winter with one deep of honey. If they fill up a regular super, I know a lot of people don't do this, but you know my third deep is going to be for, that's all honey I can tell just by lifting it up, is for uh, brood if she wants it or honey if they want to put it there. Either way, I'm not going to go into winter without a healthy supply of nectar, and that's all honey. I did that last year. It didn't bode too well. Full frame, of, deep frame of honey. Honey. So she did not lay in this third deep up. And I won't go down to check to see what she did in the other two. It's all honey. It's all honey. So, let's just scoot all this over. And we're not quite finished filling up that uh, small honey super medium. And honestly, this will, if I have to put on another deep, I will, but I don't know. They're looking pretty fat and happy. A lot of beekeepers will drop right down below and keep going, but I've already been down there. I know she's doing her thing. What I'm doing is pushing the bottom of the frame in so that I can... Oops, sorry girl. Let's grab this one. Slide it in. Ever so gently.
There we go. I just want to see down in there a little bit, but I've seen enough to know that they're doing fine. Take my Swiffer sheet, and I'll just lay it right here. I didn't see a lot of hive beetles, so I'm happy with that. What the shim doesn't get, the uh, swiffer sheet will get. Okay. Oh, I would say we're good. Looking good. So, we know this one's a dead pooch. And I need to burn it. I'm going to burn it. Now I'm going to mess with it. Maybe. We got pressure washing. No freezer. That'll be what I'll do. Okay. Well, rocking. One, three, two deep, three deeps, one full of honey. That honey super almost full. Dead, taken over by a wax moth. These two now are three deeps and one honey super really doing well 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 that's it for now like I said I don't know what I'm gonna do I might pressure wash that uh, wax white wax uh, moth problem and then we use it so sorry it's been so long but life gets in the way and uh, a little time for else have a great one <laughs>